Hey! Guess you're not the only monkey that likes to eat bananas around here, eh? <laughs> now listen, everyone has this common drama on how to bleed the cooling system on an L67. Well, boy, did you come to the right place. I know a secret tip that I'm going to give you today. All for the price of like and subscribe, mate. That's all you got to do. And uh, here's another handy tip from Joe. Now, most of you already know that the bleeder nipples for the cooling system on the L67s are in the most ridiculous spot to get to. But there is one that's very, very easy and simple to do. And I'm going to show you how to use only that one to bleed all of it. Okay? It's a simple trick. Here it comes. One of the really problem ones is, well, there's real, really there's two, one, two that are really bad, and one's really easy. Look at that. There he is right there, okay? On top of the thermostat. Okay, that's one. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it without doing that. Right, oh, no. so the other bleeder. So there's one on top of the thermostat, and then the other one here is under the snout. They're a bit of a pain to get to. So that's the other one there, see? Yeah, it can be a real drama. So I'm gonna show you a simple trick and you've only got to use the easy one to get to. You can try and get to them if you want, but there's no need. After you bleed it this way, you'll get, you'll get you know, 99% of the air out. For those of you who guessed, maybe he's gonna jack it up. Big gold star to you. That's exactly what we're doing today. So the point is, the radiator, the top of the radiator is going to be the highest point, okay? So the air is going to go to the highest point. So as long as the highest point's up, start the car, let it run for a bit, and all the air is going to go to there, okay? And then the next one down, the next bleeder point is right there. So this is the best way to do it. Save you mucking around, pulling all that off and getting your hands dirty and all that. Huh? Engineer's mind, fellas. Use it. That's how you get rid of your air pocket. Easy as that. There you go. See, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to do this sort of work, you know what I mean? Like, as long as you have some kind of idea of what you're doing, and you can think outside the box, you can make things happen. You now I just bled that without having to do go for them trouble spots, you know? So, there you go. Um, Busy as that, eh? 